Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th, right? But we know the timing is fluid. We could say this is for the full moon, right around the full moon. Um, this reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Not every reading is for you. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, then, you know, I, I really have a hard time wondering why you're watching tarot readings for love. I could see why you might be watching them for other aspects of your life. But if you're in a happily ever after relationship, you probably do not need a tarot reading. Okay, not for love, right? Uh, but anyway, what do we have for around the 30th? I don't think these dailies have really been about love, have they? They haven't. They've been about the changes that are going on in the world today. So that's, you know. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a competition of some sort. Somebody's in a very tough position. Uh, this is a tough position to be in. It's like there's a bunch of people that want to fight. There's extreme competition. This is a battle. We got somebody that... Everybody's pointing the finger at them, blaming everything on them. There's a lot of fighting going on, bickering. This is a lot of opposition. Um, then we got somebody here that just wants to fight. They want to fight somebody that is on top. There could be some jealousy issues here. This is a victor. This person is the victor. These people down here just won't give up. They won't give up for some reason. Hmm. Even though this guy has already won. This person has already won. Three of swords reversed. Can't forgive. Can't let go. Somebody is definitely jealous. They're jealous, they're upset, they're hurt. There's a lot of pain here. Somebody is really, really suffering. And that's why they're that's why they're competing so heavily, because they're in pain. Pain, this is a reaction to pain. So yes, there's a reaction to pain here. Um mm -hmm. this person is in a tough position. Everybody is blaming them. For this pain that has been caused. So that's interesting. Uh, forgiveness is needing, needed. It's, it's time to leave. It's time to leave those past hurts behind. It's time to forgive. It's time to move on. It's time to stop fighting. The devil. Well, the devil. Well, that'll, that'll definitely, the ego is in the way. The ego, pride, greed, the need to control. Somebody is in a deep, 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 dark place. And that is what is causing them the need to fight. The desire to fight. Somebody has made a poor decision. Now they're trapped. They, and there could be some addictions here that have trapped a person. There's definitely a codependency, which is an addiction. So somebody is trapped in an unhealthy mindset, an unhealthy situation. They have to find their ability to break free from it. But instead, they just fight, 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 and cause problems. They cause problems because they're hurting. They self-medicate. This person self-medicates. Their ego is in control. Five of Wands, again, fighting, fighting, bickering, sparring. Battle. This is some sort of battle. This is a huge battle. It is the it's a battle of the of the egos. That's exactly what it is. Everybody's fighting because they can't get their ego in check. 
I want to win. I want to win. I'm the one that's right. I'm the one that, that's right. I know more than you do. No, I do. There's a lot of power struggles here. Extreme power struggles. And it all stems from ego. There's anger here. Somebody is tied to a situation and now they're angry. They're angry and they're upset and all they want to do is place blame. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. And it's like they want to make the other person. They, they want to hurt the other person in any way. I want to make you uncomfortable. You're not going to rest. You're not going to relax. That's revenge. Now this three of swords reverse though. That is leaving the past hurts behind. It's supposed to be anyway. You're supposed to be. Somebody is supposed to release the pain. They are supposed to let go. It's definitely time to leave the past hurt behind and break free from this toxic behavior. It's definitely toxic behavior. All this fighting and, and opposition and going back and forth. It's, it's, it's really not healthy. It's not helping anybody involved. There's a lot of tension, okay? A lot of tension. But there's one person that is causing all the tension. Looks like this is a major dispute. Very, very, very unsettled energy. The fool. Wow, the fool. This is a new beginning. This is leaving it all behind. Somebody has an opportunity, and it's going to go right here. Somebody has an opportunity to leave all this fighting, all this sparring, all this competition behind. This is, this is a fresh start. This is freedom. This is taking a risk. This is taking a risk. Somebody is going to be, putting it right here, they're going to be leaving a toxic situation behind. This is, this is taking a risk. It is scary, but there is a need to have no fear and to step forward. It is time to leave it behind. It's time. It is. So there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of sparring. There's a lot of huge competition. This is unhealthy. It's toxic. There's a lot of uh, anger and despair. This is starting over from scratch. Leaving this shit storm behind. Going someplace else. Somebody's going to be going someplace else. They're going to be, they could even do something spur of the moment. This could be a spur of the moment decision to leave. It could. But it could be a foolish decision, okay? Because that's somebody that is also inexperienced. Ah! Well. The tower. It could be a foolish decision. I don't know. But whatever it is, this is a fated event. This is the universe. This is the universe stepping in, forcing a change. For, this is a clean slate, and this is a clean slate. So it's almost like the universe is forcing a new beginning. It's definitely uncomfortable. It is very uncomfortable. It, this is a separation, okay? A separation is needed. Somebody needs to go their own way. They need to separate from this toxic situation that is unhealthy, that is based on ego. They need to separate from it. There's too much tension. There's too much animosity. There's, uh, it's just a, it's just a game, right? It's all an act, put it that way. Anyway, the universe is a disturbance. It's an uproar. It is definitely an uproar. It looks as though, and it is, take a look at that. Looks like, uh, I don't know, is it Saturn? is about to cause an event. Get prepared. I'm telling you what, get prepared for a major disruption. 
light is going to be shed. Light is going to be shed on a false sense of security, a false sense, a false sense of security, a false uh, foundation. This. <laughs> is about to fall apart. It is about to fall apart. This this is a shock. Somebody is going to get hit. They're going to get hit. It's going to they're going to it's going to come out of nowhere. This is lightning, right? This is lightning striking. This is uh, light being shown on a fake lying liar of some sort you know there's something that isn't stable it's not stable it's not secure it's not meant to be it's not meant to last it's built on a false foundation it's built on a cracked foundation it wasn't meant to last this is cracked getting somebody may get cracked i can see it happening anyhow um this is a this is a, this is a tower moment this is somebody's this is this is a this is a faded event that shows the falseness it does it shows it shows everything everything gets revealed something is about to get revealed this is all of a sudden and this is all of a sudden something's going to happen all of a sudden this is a sudden spur the moment change okay and it is drastic it is drastic this is a drastic change somebody has been hiding something they have been able to avoid getting caught or they've been able to avoid disruption they've been able to avoid downfall they've been able to uh, pretend that everything was okay. Huh, not anymore. They've been able to stay on top of everybody else. Not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -mm. There's about to be a major change. And this is universe. And this one is too. Somebody is going to be forced to start with a clean slate. That's the name of this reading. This is started. You have to rebuild. You are going to be rebuilding. You're going to be rebuilding. You're going to be starting over. You have to leave that behind. It doesn't serve you anymore. You must. You have been choosing to fight it. You have been choosing to stay uh, attached. You've been choosing to live in shadow, you know, hide, hide it. You've been choosing to pretend and just bury yourself in addictions and whatever and pretend that everything's okay. Oh, no. No. Not happening. You will be forced. It's almost like against your will. To change this is universal this is universal the universe the planetary aspects whatever is going on right now is forcing this they are forcing this disruption in your life because you are being called to start over to start a new journey to start a new chapter of your life that old phase that old you that old life is over you can't avoid it anymore it's time it's time it's time for you to go down that new path. It's time for you to build a stronger foundation. Now 
Now, somebody could do something foolish. And this could, it almost feels like electricity, okay? Looks like this person's reaching up for a light bulb. And this is a light bulb moment. It definitely is going to be a light bulb moment. Somebody could get their lights knocked out. Just saying. I don't know where that came from. Anyhow, um, this is a light bulb moment um, that changes everything. Anyway, this could be getting electrocuted. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but, you know, you know, something's going on here. Um, this is also seeing the light, you know. The, you know, this is like when lightning strikes and you, and the thunder comes a few minutes later and you jump right out of your seat. That's what we got going on here. It's when you, it's, you're scared shitless. So, be prepared. Things are going to happen very, very fast. Zero to 16. Skipping all the other steps. Oh, yeah. Something. This is very, very, there's going to be a sudden change. A sudden event that forces somebody to, it gives somebody uh, that, an epiphany of some sort. Okay, this is a light bulb moment. This knocks some sense into them, put it that way. Somebody might get some sense knocked into them. Tower moment. Hmm. Queen of Swords. We'll take a look at that. Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, we all know who she is. She don't put up with no shit. None. Okay? Queen of Swords can be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, it can be anybody else. But the Queen of Swords is somebody that is very authentic, very assertive, very brash, very intense, very calculating, and very assertive. Okay, so the Queen of Swords has the power. She has a weapon, by the looks of things. I mean, she has a weapon. Could just be the truth. She may have the truth, okay? That could be the weapon. Truth can absolutely be a weapon. But it could also be a weapon weapon. Okay, so she may have a weapon in her hand, but anyhow, this Queen of Swords, she has the power. She is the one, I believe, that is causing the tower moment. She is very authentic. She's, she's a professional at whatever she does. She could be a professional speaker, a, a doctor, a counselor, a lawyer, um, a police officer, somebody like that. The Queen of Swords is very, very intelligent. Um... Looks like she got two swords in her hand. She does got two swords. She's well protected. She's she's ready to go. She is ready to go. She absolutely is. So anyhow, we got this Queen of Swords here who um she's about protection. So she's about protecting. She is about protecting herself, protecting whoever she cares about. She's a, she's a protector of some sort. This Queen of Swords is a protector. Who is she trying to protect? Her child? Who is she trying to protect? Ace of Cups reversed. There's some sort of sadness here. And it is a child. Page of Wands on the reversed. It could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it probably is a child. She may, she may want to protect her child. I don't know if it's a child, but pages are typically children. So, anyhow, this Queen of Swords is not happy. She's definitely not happy. She is. She's. She's crying. She's sad. This ace. This is emotional shutdown, emotional blockage, a loss of emotional content. Very cold. Very calculating and assertive. So we have an individual here that is not happy. She may be causing a tower moment. She's got she's got some sort of information and it looks like she's ready to fight. It does. It looks like she's ready to fight. And a tower can be a fight. So something is happening here. There could be a fight coming up. We have a lot of fighting here. And somebody could be caught off guard. I believe. So, hmm. four of wands. Now, four of wands is about home. There's probably, there could be a tower moment at home or at a gathering or a get together or something like that. We talked about that the other day. This is about home, family, 
get together, socializing, parties, um, being recognized. It looks like we, this person looks like a virgin to me. I mean, it looks like, I don't know if we're dealing with, I know this isn't a, a Virgo or anything, but this, it looks like a mother, mother. So it looks like it's a mother or a mother to be or something like that. Anyhow, um, this is about a mother and a child. That's what I just heard. Four of Wands, protecting her home. Somebody may be protecting their home. Um, but this Four of Wands is about foundations, commitment, happiness. I think that somebody needs to get prepared for an arrival. Okay, they need to get prepared for an arrival, perhaps at their home. Perhaps you don't see it coming. You need to protect yourself. Somebody may be wanting to pick a fight. Make sure you're you're prepared. Make sure that you I will be prepared. Um Queen of Swords. She is very assertive. She is has no fear either. The Queen of Swords is absolutely fearless. She's ready. So I do believe there's going to be an event or an incident. That this is a shakeup. It is a major shakeup. This is all happening for a reason. Because it's time to build a new foundation someplace else. That's why this shakeup is happening. Because this foundation isn't stable. It's not secure. It's not making a person happy. It's time to go. It's time to go. So you have to be logical. You have to accept the truth. And that's why this shakeup is happening. So yes, there's going to be a major event that shakes up somebody's life and forces them to go somewhere. Because this is going somewhere. There's definitely a lot of tension, a lot of fighting, a lot of sparring going on. <laughs> Ten of Wands reversed. Ten of this is balance is waiting. Ten of Wands back. This is making a conscious change to leave the dead weight, to leave the baggage, to let go. Somebody's gonna be letting go. They're going to be letting go of something that they were refusing to let go of. They were refusing to let go of it. They were holding on to it. It was killing them. But there's going to be an event that changes their mind because the Queen of Swords uses her mind. So it, it is. It's like, the, it's like this is the, what I have to do. I have to make this decision. Very decisive. So some, this, this event that happens gives clarity. It's definitely time to go. It's time to build a new foundation elsewhere. So... This is um, a major moment of truth. This is a reality. It's a rude awakening. It is absolutely a rude awakening. The tower is a rude awakening. Um, it's time to leave all of this behind. It is with both of these cards. So whatever this is, it's time to leave all of this behind and build a new foundation someplace else. Because the foundation you've been living in isn't stable. And the instability of it is going to be shown, put it that way. The instability of the insides, what's, what's been hidden from the world, and it's been hidden for a while, okay? Because here we have the hidden. Somebody's been able to hide the truth. They've been able to hide behind the walls, okay? The walls are going to come down, all right? They're going to be split. There's going to, there's going to, the light is going to be shown, okay? The truth is going to be shown. 
something is going to happen that is so extreme that everybody knows, everybody knows that it's time to go and start over someplace else. So get prepared to face the truth because it's time to build a new foundation. One more card. Oh, well, we got two. Judgment and the sun. These are both cards of release, renewal, endings, new beginnings, absolution. This is the truth being revealed. This is karma. The truth sets you free. This is actually a breakthrough. It is a breakthrough. This tower moment is a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough for a new beginning. Judgment is the end of things. It's a life-changing decision that is being made. Basically to go to a happier place. To be happy. To be free. From karma. So anyway, get ready to be judged. It's funny where I put them. Get ready to be judged by a higher power for your demons. It's time to break free from what no longer serves you. But it ain't going to be pretty. You're going to fight it. And you have been fighting it. out of your control. Good luck.